Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us now. And Sean, Colorado Senator Cory Gardner was among those supporting moving ahead on the repeal. Hey, Kathy, he told me the vote today was a vote to work towards solutions to what he calls a failing health care system. He says that's what Coloradans who are facing double digit premium increases and fewer insurance options want. But it's not what all Coloradans want. Supporters of Obamacare rallied outside Senator Cory Gardner's office before the vote, fear and anger mounting. This is a fight for our lives and that people are willing to put a whole lot on the line. Because, HIV positive, you know, Barb Cardell is among tens of millions of Americans with a pre-existing condition. Not. Her medications alone, she says, cost $10,000 a month. Even if insurance is available under the Republican plan, she worries it won't be affordable. There's probably some revisions that need to happen, but we need to make sure that the revisions don't happen at the cost of people who are living with chronic conditions like mine. Senator Cory Gardner says he agrees and, and promised to fight for that. That's why I have said, yes, let's move forward on a debate to find a solution that increases the quality of care, decreases the cost of care. But he acknowledged if it takes a senator with brain cancer flying in just to get Republicans to agree to debate, getting them to agree on a bill is a tall order. Uh, this was a tight vote today, uh, and I expect this con to continue to be uh, a tight vote. I hope that we can attract bipartisan support. That's the best way forward. Is While he's voted voted dozens of times to repeal Obamacare, Gardner wouldn't commit to doing it without a replacement now, which comes as little comfort to his critics. Colorado's Democratic Senator Michael Bennett called today's vote shameful, saying whether Republicans vote on a repeal and replace bill or a repeal only bill, it will be devastating to Coloradans. Kathy. Thank you, Sean.